Hello my dear students today we will get to know more about importance of the plantation as you know you may have planted many trees in the school project and also at home so other than this we will read how they bless us and the importance of plantation trees not only provide us food shelter rain but they make environment pure and beautiful seeing greenery all around us and seeing trees makes our mind happy so now i'm going to introduce the poem the heart of the tree and what is the importance of the trees in our life let's see the explanation of the poem what does he plant who plants a tree he plants a friend of sun and sky in the first line of the stanza poet ask a very straight question to the listener what does he plant and who plants a tree here the poet is going to explain the usefulness of the planting a tree and in the next line he answers that man plants a tree and he plants a friend of sun and sky by planting because as we know trees need sunlight and air and uh, the plant grows upward to reach the sky and sun so the plant observe the heat and save the earth from the scorching sun and the sun becomes friendly in the presence of tree so that's why he say, he said he plants a friend of sun and sky he plants the flag of breeze free the shaft of beauty towering high here the poet tells that the tree is like a flag and that flies freely in the breeze he compares the leafy branches of a tree to a flag he tells tree always stand tall and high it stands stem means uh, here the word shaft that means pole of flag its stem is like a beautiful shaft on which the flag is fluttering high here the poet compares the tree is uh, with a flag because leaves always flutter with the breeze in the next line he plants a home to heaven high for the song and the mother croon of bird in these line poet explains that uh, man plants friend of sun and sky he plants a flag and a beautiful tower but by planting a tree the man plants a home of a mother bird also and the nest of the bird is high in the sky because it looks near the heaven so he tells that the man plants a home of a bird and the nest of a bird and which the, that bird always sings happily with a gentle and soft voice in the tree light for their its young ones in hush and happy tree light heard the treble of heaven's harmony meaning of these line is the music of the bird and the sound of the bird feels like the heaven's harmony because she, uh, uh, it sings sweetly so this stanza describe the importance of the trees and in maintaining the holistic beauty of nature here we use the word heaven heaven's harmony and the towering high makes an impression uh, that are showing uh, doing plantation is a glorious and heavenly deed let's see the next stanza what does he plant who planted tree the poet repeats the question to begin a new stanza he plants cool shade and tender rain the tree he plants provide us shade and help in bringing rain and seed and the bud of the taste to be a tree uh, will produce seed and bud in the future and hear the feed and flush again he plants the glory of the plains the time will uh, pass silently but the tree will remain as it is and the seeds will produce new trees only tree can make a plain area green and beautiful so moreover we can say a single tree may turn into a forest tomorrow so he plants the forest at um, heritage so by planting a tree now we plant a forest heritage the harvest harvest of the coming age the joy that unborn eyes shall see these things he plant who plant a tree the poet says today's plantation would give fruits uh, in coming days and our next generation would be delighted seeing this and its benefit so all the credit goes to that man who plants a tree we can also make this a better living place for future generation what does he plant who plant a tree 
he plants in sap and leaf and wood in the love of home and loyalty and the farkas thought of civics good by planting a tree the man shows his love and loyalty for the mother earth here the poet wants to say that it is not a plantation only but it is our duty which reflects in uh, saplings leaves and wood even every cell of the tree so when a tree is planted it sets the progress of the nation from sea to sea so who in the hollow of his hand holds all the growth of our land a nation's growth from sea to sea still in the heart of plants a tree in these line poet wants to say that it is directly or indirectly contributes to nation's growth okay so the man who is planting a tree is a powerful and he was maker of a nation so by planting a tree man shows his love to the nation okay so in the last line uh, here the poet tells about the man's heart man's feeling man's dreams and wishes behind the planting a tree moreover i want to say the idea behind the poem is planting is more important okay for a uh, growth of a nation for our growth and for saving our uh, mother earth plantation is very important